Welcome to Craft Farmer HQ in Santa Rosa. I'm gonna be doing this demonstration today for you on installing and setting up a Dosatron board, particularly for the Athena nutrient line, but it can be used with, with all other nutrient lines. And I just wanna show you how user-friendly Dosatron has made their equipment and really how easy it actually is to install. Right here, sitting next to me on the desk, we have the entire full Dosatron package that you see for sale on my website. It has the starter kit, it has the two micro dosers, it has the regular dosers, it has the monitor kit, and it has the water hammer part so that your pipes don't bang. We're gonna get right into this. We're gonna start busting these all open and we're gonna start with the uh, starter kit. So let's get right to it. So we're gonna open this up. <clears throat> Easy to follow instructions both in Spanish and English. Uh, just a little breakdown of how the kit works, how the parts work. Very nice installation guide and shows everything how it's set up. And really what's nice is you can just literally follow this picture on how to put this all together. So we're gonna lay this out exactly like the picture shows here. And we're gonna do that just by really replicating what we have. And so um, what I like to do is I like to just kind of not really attach this stuff, but just set this on how it works and uh, go from there. Now we have our um, starter kit basically assembled on the table. As you can see, I've just loosely put these parts together and this is how it's intended to um, go together. You have your filter that you can clean. You can disconnect your filter if you have to. This is gonna be your water inlet. It's gonna come down through your filter. This is gonna be your pressure regulator. It comes through here. We've got a bypass that we can hook up a hose to or flush through here or hand water, just regular water, anything like that. And then this is gonna go into our first doser and then our mixing chamber. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna slowly um, break this apart and then um, assemble it. And right now, all this needs to do is just have pipe th um, thread put on it and then uh, all set up. So we're gonna slowly go ahead and start doing that and putting this together. And then we're gonna go ahead and I like to do three passes on everything. That way I just know that it gets good coverage and then it's not too thick at the same time. So there's our third. We're gonna go ahead and screw that in. You don't have to go crazy, crazy tight with these things. You just wanna make sure that everything is nice and secured and sealed. And I wanna be careful when I'm tightening these, I wanna get a nice grip. I don't wanna chew up the threads or screw up the plastic pieces at all. And as you can see, I'm, I'm not forcing this in. I'm making sure all the threads line up. That's that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do this assembly now. Make sure we get a nice wrap and that we're also wrapping the thread the right way so that it doesn't unravel on you as you're tightening these pieces. And we don't wanna cross thread there as you get one chance at getting your threads right. And then once it's off, no coming back. <clears throat> nice and tight, nice and square. So there's that. We'll just continue on with our output. The reason I do all this stuff is I wanna show you, more important than just selling you something, I wanna show you that um, you can do it yourself. And by doing it yourself, you know exactly how these parts go together, you know how the system works, and then when there's a problem, you're not panicking and trying to get your you know, installer to come over on a Sunday. You basically um, can troubleshoot and fix this yourself. I like really firmly gripping where I'm gonna have this wrench because I don't want 
I don't want teeth marks all over this union. So I want to grab it one time and then just really make sure that I've got it good. And that way, when I pull it off, I only have one teeth mark. The whole union isn't all chewed up, which is nice. I mean, it's just aesthetics, but it's a good habit to be in so your work doesn't look all chewed up. And then where I want this to finish is where I can actually read my gauge. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. Okay, so there we are. Now we're gonna go into the filter. I'm gonna wrap both these two. And then not only that, you can see on here, I'm making sure that I'm getting around the threads and not overlapping into here where I can obstruct the water volume. Technically, there's a there's a, a piece in here, but I like being in the habit of wrapping everything so that I don't ever forget to wrap something, if that makes sense. You don't need the wrap down there, but I try to just be in the habit of wrapping all the parts so I don't run into any kind of issue. This is probably the most technical part of the installation is doing your starter kit and um, your monitoring kit. And then other than that, it's, it's pretty much a breeze to put these kits together. And then just always double and triple check your work so you don't have to take anything apart because something's going the wrong direction or something like that. So here you can see that our filter has an arrow on it. That's telling us that the water flow needs to go that direction. So I know with this kit, since the water's going this way, this is the way my, the direction my filter needs to face. And again, remember getting it in there just perfect so that your threads don't get cross threaded. So I always look to make sure I'm, I don't wanna chew this up, but I wanna make sure that this is straight. Looks like we're there, looking nice and straight to me. Now we can put our last few pieces on. And again, I'm gonna make sure that this valve doesn't have any kind of arrows on it or directional, which it does not. All right, I'm gonna line those up. And then our last piece. <laughs> and then, so that, since this is the top of your starter kit, basically this is where the water is going in. So if you have a, one, a three quarter inch inlet, you can just put that in here and now you're ready to hook up your three quarter inch pipe. If you want a one inch input, you'll just do a three quarter inch to one inch on this one part here. But let's go ahead and just get this in. And then again, depending on how your water is coming in. For instance, if your water is coming in from the right hand side, you're going to finish this so that it can tie in up here. If it's coming in from the left hand side, you're just going to spin it until it's on the, on the left hand side. So you have the option on where you want your water coming in with this. We'll just set it up for there for now. Make sure all these tight. All right. So there it is. There's our finished assembly kit. We're gonna pull this Allen piece out right now and put in our trusty pressure gauge. So we go ahead and take our plug out. It's a little challenging to wrap these with Teflon just because of how small they are. And remember, I wanna keep the, the tape out of the inside of that, so. Here you have our assembled starter kit. So this is ready to go in the beginning, um, the front of our system. This is where our inlet water is gonna go, and this is where our first doser goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, set this on the table and start getting prepped for our next move. Next process is gonna be setting up our first doser, our mixing chamber, 
our second doser, our mixing chamber, our third doser, our mixing chamber, our fourth doser, and our fourth mixing chamber. Let's get right into that. Now, per the directions, again, on uh, the way that we wanna set the Athena up, the first doser is gonna be for our balance. Our second and third doser is gonna be for our core, our grow and our bloom, and then our fourth doser is for the cleanse. I know there used to be a different configuration. They've moved the cleanse to the back so that the hypochloric acid doesn't deteriorate your seals in the dosers as it's going through each doser. So I'm gonna grab our, our, our parts that we're doing next. The first thing we're looking for is our DMZ 3000. So I'm checking my part numbers to make sure I put these dosers um, in the right direction. So, pull this parts out. Here's your hose, your union. Um, this comes with our thread, some little instructions. I'm gonna go ahead, for the purpose of this, leave the um, hose uh, in there. I've put the bracket on the back of the doser. These brackets pop out. Here's your mounting bracket to when you mount it to the wall. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these on so it doesn't roll around the table and get this kind of set up here. So there's our first doser. This is gonna go into our union. I like to do all the unions the right way. So whatever direction you set your first union up, I'm gonna set all of them up like that. So that's gonna look like that. Make sure you don't lose any loose parts. Quite a few, few people call me and they tell me that they're missing this or missing that. Um, when I'm shipping things, all kinds of different things are tied up in your box and can be lost. So let's make sure that we set this up correctly. Again, you got your instructions and, and then we've got our tape. So looking at this, again also, look at the doser. Do you see how it has the directions on it? You can see how it has the arrow for the flow of water. Right now, I have this doser backwards. Let's say that the starter kit was up on the wall and it was coming like this. Depending on where these dosers are is how you're gonna have to set them up. So since I'm setting up a straight line, I need to make sure all my water is flowing the, the correct direction. Everything you install, you need to look at to make sure that there's no water marks or anything like that on it. Just my usual. Third wrap. Looks like there's some water in here from them testing it. Take this off. And again, I'm double checking everything before I assemble this. My arrow's the right way. I've got the correct doser. This is the micro doser, the smaller doser, the D14MZ3000. I have one to 11 milligrams per gallon. Now, the next thing we wanna do is our mixing chamber. But we need unions on both sides so that if there's a failure or there's an issue, we don't have to take everything apart. Instead of screwing that on like that, I wanna put, and again, directions. Always make sure the arrows are facing the flow of water. Okay, so now we need to make sure we get the correct doser. All these dosers are sized to how much they can actually inject. Okay, so here's our next one. We're gonna wrap this just like all the others. 
Okay. All right, so we got both sides wrapped. Again, I'm gonna look at this, make sure this is correct. I've got the right doser. I'm gonna make sure my arrows go in the, the right direction. So I'm gonna flip this around. All right, so making sure everything's right, arrows correct, everything. So I'm gonna screw this there. And then I'm gonna take this off. This is gonna go here. Mixing chamber. Now we're going for our next doser. Our next doser is not gonna be a micro. So this one I already put the unions on. Makes it pretty easy. Okay, now we're gonna go to our third mixing chamber. As you can see, this is very user-friendly to set up. It's just taking the time and not rushing the process and making sure that you're doing it right the first way because doing it right the first way, you don't have to run into any problems or issues or other things. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, double wrap this. There's one. I'm gonna go ahead and thread these in. Thread this one in. Get our pliers on here. Okay. All right, tight. Now I'm gonna make sure our unions all keep going the same direction. We're now putting on our, our third mixing chamber. We only have one more left after this. Okay. What's also cool about this Dosatron setup is you know, if you have six dosers or even four dosers like this and you don't have, you know, this much six feet of space on your wall, after this mixing chamber, for instance, you could have an elbow coming out of this union, a piece of straight pipe, and then you can continue your dosers right below this, for instance, right over here. So you could have three and then three and then out to your room. So don't feel like you have to have this on one long continuous spread. You can change these however you want and that's the whole purpose of the directional flow is you can then bring this down and loop it backwards and loop it back again. As long as you're following that, you're good to go. Okay, and now we have our last micro doser and this is gonna be for our cleanse. So I'm looking to make sure our arrows are the right way. They are on this one. Teflon tape this. Okay. Okay. Again, I'm just making sure I've got everything correct. All my unions are facing the right way. Make sure I don't bust my knuckles on the body of the doser as I'm tightening it. That's nice and tight. Now I'm going Tighten this side. And we are one mixing chamber and monitor kit away from being done. All right. Okay, there's our three wraps. Knock out both sides of this. And then after we put this last mixing chamber on, we're gonna be going to our monitor kit, our water hammer, and then the doser skid will be finished. As you can see, a lot of times we're intimidated by things we haven't done before. And the best way to address that intimidation is to just dive in and do it. One of the things that were was very important for me when I started the website was teaching people how to assemble their kits, how to install their kits, 
so you know exactly what's wrong with your system and how to troubleshoot it. So we're gonna make sure that our unions all keep going the right way. We're gonna screw these in to our mixing chamber. Get that going. Now, what's nice about these mixing chambers is as each ingredient is injected, it's mixing that ingredient with water inside of this chamber and with the other ingredients that were dosed before it. Arrows facing the direct way. That's gonna go there. This is gonna go here. I'm loosen this, put this here. And now we've assembled our whole doser rack except our monitor kit. This has just been an absolute game changer in my life. I can't tell you how many times I was running to my spot in the morning because the, the tanks run out of water at during random times and this just has eliminated a bunch of added stress that is unnecessary. There we are. This is the um, dosers and the uh, mixing chambers all mounted and put together. So here that setup is right here. Um, gonna show you something just real quick. When I go to mount this on the wall, I mean, this is a big, pretty fairly large setup. And then plus we have our monitoring kit over here. So I measure and pre-mount these little holders either on my wall or on a piece of Unistrut. I like using Unistrut, so I'll measure these out and make it so I can just, with one more person, walk up and just snap this whole skid into these cradles. And that's why these cradles come off and on so easy, so you can just pick this up and snap it right on the wall. Disconnect this for right now. Move this over. And now we're going to do the monitor kit. So as we disconnect this, we're gonna have a bunch of parts here, just like our first initial kit. We'll go ahead and get all this stuff out of here. All right. Okay, so we have our monitor kit out here, we have a T, we got an elbow going in, we have a elbow going out, we have our flush, have our garden hose hook up, that looks like that. I don't know why that doesn't wanna, got this longer piece there, then we have a union. Then we have another T with a pressure gauge. Another T. Okay. And then this is what actually goes into the doser. This is gonna go into our union, which is right there. This, then we have another T. Here's how that looks. Monitor kit, monitor kit. So now that we've got that all finished and done, we can tape this whole thing together and attach it to the second part of our dosatron assembly. So. Here's a picture of the monitoring kit fully installed. So this opening is for your EC probe. This opening is for your pH probe, both of which come with the monitoring kit. What we have down here is you can hook up a hose to this. So as you're making your adjustments to your dosers, you can check that water and run that water through a hose with a um, on and off shut off. So this is gonna sit here and then what this is gonna do is this is gonna attach to our second set. 
So that is what the end of our doser system looks like. This is gonna go to your drip irrigation, and then obviously the other side is here. So that's the fully assembled kit, and obviously I can't hold the whole thing up for you, so we've broken it down into uh, two different sections, which we have here. Another really cool feature about uh, these dosers is they have the on off switch right off the top. So if for some reason you wanna just run water through your irrigation, all you have to do is flip the on off. Um, in this application, also what I really like to do is I personally like to turn the cleanse off at the very end of my cycle. So I can just flip this switch turn off the cleanse and still have everything else I need. So there it is. You've seen it right here. You've seen how easy it is to install these. Dosatron has made it very easy. They come with great, great um, instructions. And now, um, since we're here, I'm just gonna show you how to preset these dosers right out the gate for you to win. So our very first doser is going to be my balance. For me personally, I know that five milliliters of balance is what I need. So I'm gonna unlock it so that I can adjust it. And I'm gonna bring that down to five milliliters a gallon. And there I am. So that's set. So now I can go ahead and lock that. The second doser is my core. And what's really nice about Athena and everything that they're doing, you can come right here to their really nice, easy to follow instructions, and we can look at our target EC reference. So look at how nice they make this. Very simple one pound of salts to one gallon of water. We're gonna come right here to our doser setting. So I like running at 3.0 EC. Core is gonna be 0.95% and grower bloom is gonna be 1.6. So I come right here to my first doser. I'm gonna unlock this and I'm gonna set this to 0.95. So I come down here and I look. So here's 1.5, 1.95 is right about here. So there I'm set, I'm gonna uh, lock that in. And then I'm gonna come over here to my gr um, uh, grow bloom doser. I'm gonna look on our nice sheet. It tells me that I need to be at 1.6. So I'm gonna unlock this and then I'm gonna change this to 1.6. So there's 1.6. Lock that in place. And then I'm gonna come over here to my cleanse and my cleanse, I like to do at two milliliters a gallon to start. So I'm gonna set that right at two and lock this. So not only are the dosers all set up and ready to rip, but according to our Athena chart, these are all ready to go at 3.0 EC if you're starting with 0 0.0 EC water. Um, and again, Athena makes this so easy with their feed chart and their recommendations. Um, it doesn't get any easier than that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope this video empowers you. I hope you feel that you can tackle some of these projects yourself. If you ever have any questions, I'm easy to get a hold of. Sometimes it takes me 24 hours to respond, but I will respond to you. Thank you again for uh, being one of my customers and thank you for supporting me in all my endeavors.